Hey YouTube fam, it's your boy Mr. J coming at you with another video. Yeah, I know, I know I'm a little sporadic with all my videos, but as it is, you know how it is when you you know you know how it is when your phones be you know how it is when your phones act up. And in that and in that respect. I had to get a backup phone, and this is and this is the backup phone right here. But the thing, but the thing, but the reason behind this video is to tell you about my frustration. You see, I initially got, I initially got this, I initially got this said backup phone just in case anything happens to. The one that I'm making this video on. So I figured I, you know, I figured I'd get me a, I figured I'd get me a little quick phone, not too many frills, you know. I figured it would be, you know, I figured it'd be cool, but apparently, no matter what you do, there's always something. So basically, my frustration with this phone and everything is the fact that I had it for about I had it for about a week. I had, now see this now see this wasn't now see this is not the original phone that I got from the company that I got it from. See, my frustration is that I had I had this sad phone for about two weeks, and then everything started messing up, as things usually do. So here's the thing: I called the company to try to I called the company to try to figure out what the situation was with the phone because at first. It wouldn't get. It wouldn't let me. It wouldn't let me do voicemails or make phone calls. So I called the company to find out what the situation was. So apparently, I ended up getting a bad phone. So the company said that they were going to send me out a shipping label, which this is right here. They said they were going to send me out a shipping label, which I could use to send it back to them. I see. Here's where my frustration is. Why is it that every time you have to send something back to somebody, for whichever reason and whichever company you use, that there's, all, that there's always red tape behind it? Now, I must have called... Now I must have called that company about this about about this original phone four times because and practically every time I called them they wanted to give me a shipping label because the whole the whole thing was I had to get the whole thing was I had to get a uh, tracking number to give to to give to uh, FedEx to uh, make sure I make sure I gave them their phone back. But every time I called the company to find out what the ship what the uh, what the tracking number was on the package on on the label. That they were sending me to ship the phone back out, I could never get a straight answer. So, as it is, I had to, I had to. So as it is, I had to call, I had to call FedEx to initially get the number that I needed to actually send the phone back 
to the people I needed to send it back to in the first place. <sighs> Talk about frustration, right? Wonder what's next. Sometimes you just never know. Sometimes things just don't go right, but I do know this. This phone will be going back. This phone will be going back to the company. And as far as what happens as far as what happens to it after that, I have no idea. But as it is, I do have a backup phone to replace the original phone that I'm trying to send back, which is this one. Hopefully, it doesn't break down like the last one. (laughs) But you can never tell. Anyway... I just wanted to get you no. Know, I just wanted to give you a little update on my frustration and the reason why I haven't been really posting like I should. But I just want to let y'all know. I just want to let y'all. I just want to let y'all know that Mr. J is here. And I hope everybody has a good day. And I'll definitely be, I'll definitely be talking to you soon. Later, folks. Mm-hmm.